Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to another episode of In and Out. This time we've been looking at what's been coming in and out of my nail polish collection in the month of August. So as a quick recap, in 2021 I set myself some nail polish goals um, to sort and de-stash my stamping plates. I'm on a low buy for nail art and nail polish and also with an overall aim to reduce my nail polish collection size. But before we start, here's what's on my nails in this video. And it's one of the polishes from my Project Polish, and that is Nails Inc. Porchester Square. And it's topped with Blizzard from Illamasqua. So back to what we're here for. And first of all, my low buy on nail art. I did make two purchases this month. The first one that was a tub of this spider gel in white. I purchased this to do a mani for the mani swap circle on Instagram. And I really enjoyed using it. And I've been looking at a lot of videos using spider gel. So I picked up a black one as well. I had a little bit of a break from my sorting and de-stashing of my stamping plate, so no changes to report there. For the polishes that I purchased in the month of August, I purchased just this one. I really regretted not buying this one the first time it came out, so when it came back in the rewind for polish pickup, I didn't hesitate to pick it up. It is a beautiful polish. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm dying to wear it. It's got this insane shimmer in it, which is orange and pale green over that blue base. And I just love it. So it's Bee's Knees Lacquer, a lion with a thorn in its paw. All right, so with one polish purchased, by my rules, I have to de-stash at least two. The first one that's leaving my collection is this Nails Ink Plant Power Polish. It's called Mani Meditation. Uh, it's a very pale pink and the shade just really didn't suit me very much. I enjoyed it more when I put this Lights of Emerald City topper over it, but not enough to want to keep it, so that one's going into my D-stash. Next one going in my D-stash is Desert Orange by Barry M. This one was gifted to me for use in nail art by them. I have used it a few times and I had a couple of mani swaps with Nika that I wanted to do. So now I've completed those mani swaps, um, I will be de-stashing this polish. I rarely wear orange and I have other oranges that suit me better. And because this polish was gifted to me as PR, I will be passing it along to a friend. The next one going back into my de-stash, it's been there before it came out, it's going back again, is this Art Sticks by Model Zone. It's got Utopia on one end and Indian Ocean on the other. I don't like the Utopia colour and I have got a full size bottle of Indian Ocean so I really don't think I need to keep this one and I'm going to put it into my de-stash sales. Next one that I'm going to be letting go of reluctantly is this Princess Nail Lacquer Party at Home which I bought at the end of last year and I really like it, it's very pretty, it just doesn't suit my skin tone. I didn't even take a picture of the money that I wore this for. Also going is Prism Polish UK Mellow Your Yellow and this is a polish that you can put over your nails to try and hide um, any yellow discolouring from wearing nail polish. Um, for me unfortunately this shade wasn't quite right so I'm going to pop this one in my de-stash as well, hopefully someone else will find it useful. And the last polish that I'm going to de-stash is this one by Polish Me Royalty, it's called Hollow and it's a very densely packed holographic glitter. I prefer my holographic glitter to be a little bit more sparse than this so I'm going to pop this one in my de-stash for somebody else to enjoy. As well as those de-stash polishes, I have a few that are finished this month. Um, first of all, we have a bottle of Cotton by Barry M. And although there's about a quarter of this left, it has gone really gloopy. I've tried thinning it. Um, it's not nice to work with and it doesn't give a good finish. So this one is going to be disposed of. 
The next one is another Polish Me Royalty. This is called Hell's Bell. I have just about managed to recover this one with a lot of nail polish thinner. So I will offer this to a friend who understands that. Then we have one of my project polishes that was finished. This is Xena by Arda's Nails. And this is the last manicure that I did with this polish. And then finally, we have another Polish Me Royalty finished. And this is Lollipop Chainsaw, um, a lovely neon pink. And this is the last mani that I wore this one in. No gifts or repurchases in August, so I'm going to move on to my totals. So for August 2021, I purchased two nail art items. We had no change on the stamping plates, purchased only one nail polish, but de-stashed or finished 10. So that makes a total of one polish in and 10 polishes out and no change on my stamping plates. My running totals for 2021 then are 15 nail art items purchased, 43 stamping plates de-stashed, 55 nail polishes purchased and 129 de-stashed or finished uh, with 31 nail polishes gifted to me or repurchased. That makes a total of 86 polishes into my collection and 129 polishes out, 12 stamping plates in and 43 stamping plates out. As for that budget, well, you know already that I am way over budget for what I had originally intended to spend, which was £100 over the whole year, plus whatever I made selling any polishes in a de-stash sales. In August, I spent another £25.35, pence, raised £8.80 pence in de-stash sales, which makes my running total minus £203.25 pence for the year. Thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and maybe have a look at some of the others in this series.